Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. We're in Revenant's Toll. Um, although we don't actually need to be here. We need to be in um, Kirkus. So we're going to head there now. Um, yeah, welcome back. We're continuing with the main story, which come, should come as no surprise to anyone. Um, just trying to get everything I can done to further the summoner's spell leveling thing. Don't really know what I'm talking about today. I usually give myself a little bit of time before I start videos. Um, kind of like either count myself down or I wait till I get to a certain point till I know what to say. Today, I thought to hell with it. I'll just launch straight in, see how it goes. So far, it's not gone so well. <laughs> but that's fine. <clears throat> Had a bit of a frog in my throat as well, so that's not helping. So last time we got sent to one of the houses, I can't remember which one it was. Is it Drillmont? Drillmont? Um, or was that Lord Drillmont? I can't remember. I don't know these bloody names. There's that many to keep up with. Uh, and they sent us here. So here we shall go. Oh no, we're supposed to speak with Drillmont. Just looked at my quest list. Usually an intelligent thing to do. Geico, welcome, welcome. You will be pleased to know that the repairs to the stone vigil proceed apace. We shall rebuild sure and strong that the Dra oh, yeah, that the Dravanians might batter themselves senseless against our shield in the west. I would venture, however, that matters of masonry are not what brought you to Whitebrim. No. On the trail of a band of thieving heretics, you say, by the fury, but you do seem destined to cross paths with those villains. I must confess then, tis a sad truth that the wilds hereabouts have indeed grown thick with their number. They strike swiftly without warning, <clears throat> and are ca uh, canny enough to evade our most able trackers. But tis not merely their newfound organisation that confounds us, the heretics themselves seem somehow changed. Ooh. I know not what manner of influence this ice heart wields, but the men we face seem utterly lost in the grip of righteous fervour. It is an unsettling and unnatural zeal. Mayhap you would care to question one of their recent victims. As fate would have it, your arrival came moments after a trader was waylaid on the road. Our patrol found the unfortunate fellow lying senseless in the snow and carried him to our infirmary. Assuming he has regained use of his faculties, the merchant might recall some detail, some small detail, that could aid you in your task. Yeah, so I remember now. Um, there's some lady commanding these heretics. And she sounds thoroughly pleasant slash unpleasant. Let's go and see this poor sod in the infirmary. Uh... Oh, infirmary's upstairs. Is it not? Been a while since I've been here. Is it you? I don't think it is you. It's you. Mistreated merchant. Tell you what happened? Why, yes, of course. I'm quite recovered enough for that. Anything to help catch those cowardly black arts. I was travelling my usual route to White Brim Front when, sudden, when a sudden blow sent me reeling. The next thing I knew, I was on the ground and several heretics were rifling through my cargo. Arms, armour, crystals. They were taking everything. Ah, crystals. That's not good. It was then that one of them noticed my bleary gaze, stalked over to better acquaint my head with his mace. Ah. Before darkness claimed me, however, I distinctly heard the words, Return to Snowcloak. I dare say that's where they were hauling my goods, but you'll not catch me rushing off in pursuit. They tell me it was a miracle I survived at all. Well, yeah, mace to the head. You're doing pretty damn well. Uh, I'll not trust my thick skull to save me a second time. You don't even have a scratch on you. Let me have a look at you. Yeah. Good work. Um, so, snow clock, I'm assuming that's a place, 
Yes. Ah. Could it be? Are we in line for another dungeon? I suspect. Oh, maybe not. Wow, this is a sorry sight. What's happened here? What? I was pressing entirely the wrong key then, repeatedly. up again. So it's quarter to one on a Sunday afternoon as it stands. It's been a pleasant morning and a pleasant early afternoon. Got plenty of housework and jobs done. Always makes me feel a lot better when I do that and then finally sit down and I know that I'm not kind of missing out on, you know, Missing out on anything, is that the right word? Not missing anything. I've, I've got everything in hand. As it were. Gah! Draw your weapons, foul... Wait, I recognise you, adventurer. You'll come seeking heretics. And we share a common purpose. We were on patrol when we chanced to cross one of their raiding parties and pursued them here. By rights, we should, we should have them cornered in this ravine, and yet they are gone, banished like icy wraiths. Yes, I think this is another dungeon... Dungion. Ooh. Who are you? <laughs> she's voice acted, so she's important. I like her dress. Cloak thing. Ah, uh, you know what's going on, Geico. You glimpsed a woman atop the cliff. Could it be Isart herself come to sneer at our folly? To where did she disappear? The heretics must have discovered a passage through the frozen wall, some hidden tunnel that escaped our notice. We have not the men to risk further investigation. It would be best if we were to return to Whitebrim Front and lay our suspicions before Lord Drillmont. Can I not just... No. Okay. We go. The other thing that I can't um, increase until I do some more of the actual story is my rank in the Maelstrom. I'm Storm Second Lieutenant. I would very much like to increase my rank so that I can do more stuff. Uh, but it's not going to let me. I mean, I suppose I could fly up to the top of the tower and go in. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? I'm going to do that. I. I don't know if that was quicker or not. It appears I owe you my thanks once again. The surviving knights spared no detail in their report. The men you found near Snowcloak were some of my finest. That they should be bested so handily. I fear I've woefully underestimated the threat these heretics pose. While I understand you might balk at the notion, I must ask that you put aside your mission and consider the stolen provisions lost to us now. It would be ill-advised to blunder unprepared into what may well be the very lair of our enemy. That's what I always do. May I return to Dragonhead and inform Lord Harchafon of your discoveries. He will wish to plan contingencies of his own. That guy's a nutter, by the way. Not him. The other guy, Lord Harchafon. As for Iceheart and her fanatics, the freezing heights of Snowcloak will not shield them lot from our justice for long. Right, okay. Let's go and see the crazy guy with the very wild-eyed look. Even Geico was like, <clears throat> You're nuts! Oh, hang on. Am I thinking of... Oh, no. No, it must have been him. This is the right way. Such breathtaking scenery. It's 
I fly headlong into a tree. There's got to be some um, some viewpoints that I've missed. I mean, well, to be perfectly honest with you, my hunting log, I think I've only got one of them. It's where you go to like a location and you type like, look out. Look out! Alright, you crazy bastard. I don't trust this guy. What is happening with you? I don't remember him being this crazy when we dealt with him before. うん。そのこりの見事は一体何者だ。異端者を適切な判断をされることだろう。いい情報を持ち帰ってくれた。感謝するぞ。お前は本当に真摯に働く。それが真実を呼ぶのだと。<笑> Yes, that's the most sensible thing you've said so far. Uh, right, now what? Oh, back to Revenant Stall. Uh, can't remember which way it is. Which way is it? That way. So let's go back and let's Slathborn know what's going down. I thought they'd actually send us straight to the uh, back to the ice cliffs, but I guess not. Biding our time. Right, I don't know what it is recently. I've got this really strong urge to go swimming. <laughs> and I've had it for a few days. I'm, the obvious answer to that is just go swimming, but. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. It's not like I'm, I'm massively interested in starting swimming, but it, it happened the other day at work and I was stood there thinking, oh, do you know what would be really nice right now? Go for a swim. And for the last few days, it's just been the same urge. So I think that's going to have to happen. I think I'm going to have to go for a swim. Don't know why I mentioned that. It's just been on my mind for the last few days, so thought I'd put that out there. Uh, right, back to the seventh heaven. And to the rising stone. Oh no, no, where am I going? Wrong way. Wrong way. Need to speak to Slathborn. Okay, 
getting carried away. Samurai. I like looking at other people's gear. This is one of those games where it is actually quite... I think I mentioned this before. It's so aesthetic that it's part of the charm of the game. Uh, Geico, it's good to see you return to the toll. I have fed you in the frozen waste of Curthus. House Four attempts is to send us a second shipment. I must send thanks to Lord Harchfont for his continued generosity. Even as our town grows in prosperity, I fear it will attract even ever greater numbers of those who would do us harm in the name of greed or power. All of us, Alpha Nord's new recruits included, must remain vigilant against such threats. I concur. See, I can't use any of that. And it's all market prohibited as well. That's really shit. Um, Astrum Helm. I don't know. I'm just going to take the silver. Because I can probably use one of these. Ooh. That. Can I try it off? That's really cool. Oh, I absolutely want that. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, I think I just clipped through something he was trying to say. Nice bike. Um, I guess we've got to go see Tataru. Yeah. Yes, I do want the Even Star hat. It looks like the thing I want. I wanted to wear the clown hat because it was like a similar sort of top hat design, but it comes with the funny red nose, and I did not want that. <laughs> I'm going to sneeze, I think. Uh, no, no. These parchments need to be sorted, and these documents, why are they even here? Oh, I'm sorely tempted to file a lot in my waste paper basket. That's the way to do it. Ah, Geico, you startled me. You wish to lend me a hand? Splendid. I don't, actually. Would you be a dear and hand these uniforms to the new recruits? They're scattered about Revenant's Toll, and I haven't time to track them all down. The recruits know how to don their garb immediately and assemble here in the Rising Stone. Um, you want to report directly back to Alphanord if you don't wish to miss the ceremony. I wonder if the Scions will ever have matching uniforms. A well-funded organisation is a well-dressed organisation, I suppose. Cool. Alright, let's go and find these bloody recruits. I'm assuming when it gets to the point where the... Unless they've already started and I'm just kind of ignorant to the fact, but where the Heaven's War missions actually begin. Um, I was speaking to a friend and they said... In their experience of playing the game, there was after a Realm Reborn finishes, there's just like a load of really annoying, pointless quests in between. Um, can I go in there? Or is the person up there? Yes, the person is up there. What? Why did that just open? A party finder. That's weird. Oh, okay. Huh. Um, Isildur has, alas, retired from the adventurer's life. Though I shall miss his wisdom and irrepressible spirit, I'm excited to forge my own path forwards. Here, have a uniform. Ah, yes, the uniform. Thank you. Truth be told, the thought of pledging myself to such a lofty organisation is somewhat intimidating. Don't worry. We're all in the same boat.
Real. Stop hiding. Hello there, lad. Looking for me, was she? I suggest giving a whistle, but I'm not sure I'd hear it amongst all the bustle. Nope. Have a uniform. Oh, proper uniforms and all. This thing will cut off the blood to my head. Not to worry, though. I'm sure she'll be fine after making a few adjustments. Good up. You do realise the point of a uniform is to look uniform, though, don't you? Oh, these are all the guys we recruited then, I suppose. Little Alamigo could learn much from Revenant's Toll, but this town can be so alive in the midst of such desolation. Have a uniform. I've never worn out quite so voluminous. Well, I'm sure I'll grow accustomed to the extra cloth in time. The other guy just said it was too tight. Oh, it'd be so cool if these guys ended up looking like uh, like Shinra. Guy Kujin. Gods, I did not expect to meet you strolling about town. The tales of your primal battles were what inspired me to come to Revenant's Toll. Have a uniform. It is an honour to receive this uniform from your hands. I shall wear it with pride. Never wash it. Uh... I see you up there. Illbird! I don't believe we've met. I'm Illbird. I will have the honour of leading my fellow recruits as captain. Much did I lose to the calamity, and I look forward to aiding those, aiding others in rebuilding their lives. You look like Captain Material. Here, have a uniform. Uniforms are, in, are a shrewd decision. There is no easier method of creating a common bond among what is essentially a band of strangers. Scarlet Garb marks me a proud member of the Maelstrom and a hearty defender of Limsilaminsa. In truth, I stand for the betterment of the realm and through and through this... And through... This new company? Is that a spelling mistake? A fine opportunity to contribute on a grander scale. Despite your lack of vocabulary, have a uniform. Oh ho, now that's a striking shade of blue. Put alongside my Maelstrom uniform, my wardrobe will certainly not lack for colour. Blue, eh? My, uh... I'm calling it. I'm calling Shinra. Or soldier, at least. Uh, those who believe this company will see no riches are short-sighted fools. The giving of oneself is an investment in the future. Thus did I sign my name to the cause. Well, whatever your reasons, here's a uniform. These uniforms were a splendid idea. Once our organisation has made a name for itself, there shall be wealth aplenty in selling replica costumes to the adoring masses. Cosplay market, yay! I have no problem with that. I thought it best to mimic my fellows here, but I admit I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that's amazing. Well done. Have a uniform. Aha, our new uniforms. I'm reminded of my induction into the Wood Whalers. Right, back to... <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me, but it did. Oh. Right, enough foolishness. Let's. Uh, I'm dying to see what these uniforms actually look like. Can I have one? I should have looked at them in my inventory before I gave them all out. Alright, Alpha Nord. Yes, Geico. Ah, Tartaru mentioned you were handing out the new uniforms. I assume you've now met the rest of the recruits. I'm actually going to sneeze. That's really annoying. Oh, I can't sneeze. Fucking hate that. Anyway, some of uh, some few answered the call to arms I put forth through the established grand companies and such. We are not yet an army, but there is much much a small core but there is much small core of elite warriors can achieve oh yeah sorry can't read did i mention i thought of a name for the company it is my hope that it shall soon be known across the breadth of eorzea 
The moment of truth draws near, Geico. Once the last recruits have gathered, I shall make the official announcement. Ooh. He's going to call it Soldier, and they're going to be dressed like Soldier from Final Fantasy VII. I'm telling you. Oh, it's not the same, really. ここに集まったのは私の思いに賛同してくれた精鋭たちだ。我々赤月の決命と意志を一つにし、これからのエオルゼアを守っていくために先方となることを選んだ勇者たちだ。赤月の元で国家間の垣根を越えた活動を行う
Now then, do I have any glamours on... Ooh, hey up, oh, what's going on now? Very good. See that the provisions are prepared for transport. Let us hope that this, sh there, this shipment is spared the fate of the last. Wind's picking up. The winds are uncommonly fe uncommon fierce this day. Who the hell is that? Who the hell are they? What is going on? Oh. Oh shit. that all about well I don't care I've got my funny hat I've got an achievement ARC are defended what does that mean oh got a new title defender of ARC uh, right, what we'll do? Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. cast glamour. Uh, that, God, that's really annoying. That one. Yes. Hee <laughs> hee! That is. Eh. Uh, It actually looks a little bit silly, but I love it. Uh, Minfili would have you assist Alphanord in his new station as commander of the Crystal Braves. Okay. Sigh. Try as I might, I cannot shake a creeping sense of dark foreboding. But it avails us not to fret about the unknown. We must concentrate instead on the problems of the present. The primals have been relatively quiet of late, and the beast tribes who summon them are under constant surveillance by the grand companies. Should any suspicious activity be afoot, you may be certain that we will hear of it. Well, the stealing of crystals from caravans is pretty important. And until such a time as a permanent solution to the primal problem has been found, we can do a little but wait and observe. As for the Asians, Orangutan is wholly dedicated to finding the means by which we may defeat the dark beings. Let us pray for good tidings on that front. All of this you knew already. Let us speak then of more current matters. In particular, the state of the Crystal Braves. Alphanod did well to found the organisation, but ensuring its smooth operation is another matter entirely. Though I doubt not that he is doing his best, I felt that a helping hand or two would not, uh, would not go astray. To this end, I offered to send one of the Archons to assist him, but he declined. You know how he can be, independent to a fault, and singularly loath to accept help. Save, of course, when that help comes from you. Uh, of course. Alphanord has entrusted countless matters of import to your care in the past, and I believe he would not hesitate to do so again, were you to offer. Or were you to volunteer me, I think is what you're trying to say. I should be most grateful if you would go to him and support him in whatever manner you are able. Okay.
me and my hat will go hence. What is it, Geico? Do be concise, I'm rather busy. Hmm? You would lend a hand, you say? I see. Well, now that you mention it, there is a matter that wants for attention. Given its sensitive nature, I was hesitant to entrust it to my braves, but the demands upon my time are such that I had little choice. Which is not to say that I that my men want for labour. Though we are but newly formed, there is already a great demand for our services. We are hard pressed to answer all petitions, but I digress. The fact is, I would sooner attend this particular matter myself, but my presence is required elsewhere. That being the case, I've entrusted its resolution to my second in command, Captain Ilbird. Uh, tell him that I sent you and he will furnish you with the particulars. My thanks in advance, Guy Cool. What? What do you want? なるほど。Because there's no one here. Okay. そこで俺たちは各国の資料の協力のスメの協力者が活動しているらしいことが判明した。情報活動には、いくつかやり方があるが、今回の場合、おそらくかなり前から組織の一員として潜り込み、時間をかけて信頼を築いて、内部に協力者を作った類だろう。信頼にて心を
me and my brand new hat will be happy to oblige. Right, off to Uldar. We do get about. It's the wrong colour. I think that's what it is. If it matched the rest of my stuff. But then again, it's not too far off. I mean, it's red-ish. Around the rim. And what I'm wearing, I'm assuming, is a shade of red. Not very good with colours. North Shroud, back to Gridania, airship from Gridania to Uldar, and then steps of Nald. Got a little um, low level missions to be doing here, but I'm going to leave those in case. I decide to take a new job. Um, probably won't happen. But there's no point in me doing these. Level 5, 5, 6, 7. We'll leave those be. Check on my retainers while I'm here. Still no luck getting the fat cat as of yet, but I imagine the percentage chance of getting that from a venture is uh, is quite low. Don't know what I was doing there. Uh, oh yeah. I need to get used to using the bloody Ethernet shards in towns. Because I was, I was about to say, I keep thinking of um, cutting the bits where I'm walking around in between towns, but there would be scant need to cut anything or even consider cutting anything if I just use the teleportation that's available to me. Because I'm a bloody idiot, mate. Uh, six hours. I'm not sending uh, Grun on any more missions, basically because he's at his maximum level. Uh, I haven't upgraded. I haven't leveled up my mining skill past 26, I think it is. So he's not going to go any higher. And to be fair, all I really wanted that for was... Uh, oh, excuse me, yawning. Um, was for the fire shards and other shards that I need for cooking. Which again, I've not bothered with in a very long time, so maybe I should level those next time in between videos. So much to do! If I didn't know any better, I would definitely say I'm coming down with a cold. That's cool.
Oops. To Uldar, my good man. I want that. I don't know where to get it from though. Uh, the Hall of Flames, so yeah, I think it just needs to go out here to the Ruby Road Exchange and then turn left. See, I am figuring things out. I've only been playing this game for God knows how long. Oh, yeah. General. Kisamaka. Honjitsu wa nani yo ka? I think you know. Ore no tsukiyai de kite moratta. Kisashiburi da na, Lauban. Ah, that was a familiar greeting. No salute or anything. Oh, Irberto! How did you get your face? How many years ago? I was thinking about your face. I was thinking about your face. I was thinking about it. When I was thinking about it, I was thinking about the Crystal Brave when I was thinking about it. さすがに驚いた俺にしてみればラウバーンお前が政治をやっていることの方が驚きだ<笑>そうかもしれんなお互い大人になったということだろうイルベルドと我が輩は同郷の出身でな幼い頃は二人して己の腕を競い合ったものだ祖国のアラミゴがガレマール帝国に陥落された際共に脱出したのだがそれっきりだった噂には聞いていたがあの後いろいろと活躍したようじゃないかザナラーンにたどり着いたお前はウルダハの同人団に捕まりコロセウムの獄門遣唐使にさせられただがその中で頭角を現し前人未到の戦勝を成し遂げるそしてその莫大な賞金をウルダハ王宮に寄付することで見事サカツ州の座を射止めたコロセウムの勇者アラミゴの英雄ラウバーン様よせ英雄とはこの冒険者のような存在を言うもの屍の上に立つ我が輩には不要な肩書きだ貴様こそ冒険者として随分と名を馳せていたようだなぼはいそれなりには苦労したからなもっとも最近は。Oh, can we all stop putting ourselves down, please, for God's sake? Lay no can they hold up now? クリスタルブレイブに属す旧友との再会の場と説明してやる連中も特別に目を光らせたりはしていないだろう今のウルダ派では
下手に場所を変える方が怪しまれるここで聞こうあくまで不滅隊に潜んでいたかよっテレジア・デレジの一件以来ウルダ派は揺れている帝国の密偵からの誘いに心動く輩が出てもおかしくはないしかし以前より潜り込んでいるとなるとことは大きくなる万一に備え帝国と手を組むためのつなぎとして共和派が自ら招き入れている可能性すらあるか状況は理解した信頼できるものを集めこちらも調査を行おうはいイルベルド今はお互い忙しい身だ今度酒でも交わしながらゆっくり話すとしようそうだなラウバーンそしていつの日か祖国を我らの手で。That was very pleasant with undertones of oh shit. 不滅隊の局長か。俺も負けてはいられないなラウバーンが手を回してくれていたおかげで何事もなく報告できた手間をかけさせたな英雄殿You're welcome えー、right don't need none of that take the silver Camp Drybone, eh? Oh no, 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 that's not right. Oh, okay. The mission is just where we were. A minute, even star. Did I have some even star stuff? Not the hat that I've just got. I'm sure I picked up like an even star body armor. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, our hunt for the ivy begins in earnest, Sion. Suffice it to say, we must tread warily, but one misstep may well cost us our lives. Our business here is concluded for the time being. Let's return to the Rising Storms and report to Commander Lavillier. Yep. I'm back. We are returned from Old Dark Commander. And not a moment too soon, something has happened. Trouble? You will recall the fourth was tasked with re reconnoitering the rendezvous site used by the Ivy's minion and his Imperial contacts. Soon after you left, we received word that the unit was ambushed en route to its destination. God damn it. Xe. 
According to the report, one of ours has been taken captive. The Galleons are not wont to treat their foremen with dignity, and I have grave fears for her safety. We must dispatch a rescue party at once. Recall those braves who are afield. Begging your pardons, Commander, but we have not time. I'll go. I'm afraid I must ask for your aid once more, Sion. An ill-prepared rescue party will only serve to provide the Galleons with more captives. Yet time is of the essence. Simply put, you're the best chance we have. Captain Elbert has the right of it. I trust you're willing, but of course you are. Now, Alian, Alian of the Fourth lies in wait in the Tangle near the entrance to Castrum Sentry. Seek her out and she will apprise you of the situation. Castrum Sentry, is that just outside Revenant's Hall? I think it is. Yeah, the tangles, the bit with all the marbles and the mud puppies, whatever they're called. Pretty sure. I feel like I am neglecting materia. Why have I got so many fishing rods? Um, yeah, so this this hat that I've got... Oh no, can't even use material with that. What even star stuff did I have? I can't even remember. But I definitely remember the name. Ah, fat cat. Soon you will be mine. hell is that? That wasn't there the last time we were up here, was it? Oh, maybe it was. I don't know. I don't know. This is the tangle here. Aha! You would aid us in the rescue mission? We're in your debt, warrior of light. Now time is against us, so allow me to brief you on the situation. Galleons fell upon us without warning, wounded poor Resh, then hauling her away to, cast, to the Castrum yonder. Outnumbered as we were, it was all we could do to flee and regroup. Even as we speak, the Galleons may be interrogating Resh, or worse. With her hurts, I fear she will not long survive their attentions. We must rescue her without delay. Our order may yet be in its infancy, but the bond, that's, uh, bond that binds us is strong as Mithril. None of us will stand by while a comrade suffers. We, the remnants of the 4th, will infiltrate Castrum Sentry. Please help us find Resh before it's too late. I will. Go forth. So, do we just bust in the front door? What's, what's the plan? It just says go into Castrum Sentry. There she is. Help is here. Don't worry. Is it just me or am I attack slower? Uh, where am I? Safe. Don't worry. Resh, thank the gods we found you. And thank you, Warrior of Light. Now, to quit this accursed place. Resh cannot move with those wounds. She will need to be carried out. I believe a diversion is in order. 
might we trouble you to provide one? Given your reputation, I suspect the Gallians will be only too happy to grant you their undivided attention. If you were to create a commotion within the Castrum, we should be able to steal away unnoticed. Let's speak once again. Let's speak again once we're safely outside these walls. Okay. No worries. Right. What would make a good diversion? Final distraction over here. Paralysis. Not need to attack anymore. I have awaited your return most anxiously, my friend. You've done us a great service indeed. Thanks to your aid, our comrade Rush is safe, and we suffer no further casualties. Words cannot well express my gratitude. All that's left is to report the mission's success to Cap Commander Levelier. I shall go on ahead to the Rising Stones. Cool. I shall follow. Yeah, I mean, these missions aren't necessarily difficult. There's just lots of them. And the experience gain is, like, pretty much negligible. I'm pretty sure we had even star tights at some point. Have we still got them? I don't know why I'm so fixated with 
We must have had them and that sold them to the Maelstrom as part of the um, provisioning missions. Oh, what am I doing? Pay attention, Geico. Ah, it does me well to see you thus returned. Though I doubt not your prowess, entering an enemy stronghold is generally considered to be a risky venture, and I must confess to having been a trifle anxious. But here you are, Hale and Hall, having succeeded in your mission, as is your want. Lest you wonder, the woman you rescued is being cared for by the Dormans. Thanks to their expert ministrations, the danger is past. You have my gratitude, Geico. Commander? Captain? Allow me to thank you also, Sion. Resh owes you her life. We escaped with minimal casualties this time, but we can ill afford to be caught off guard again. The Empire is not an opponent to be trifled with. As you say, Commander, I will see to it that the men keep their wits about them. And it may yet take time. I will not rest until we've identified and apprehended the ivy. I have every confidence that you will succeed, Captain. As for you, Gaiko, I realise you have scarce caught your breath, but I am afraid there is no rest for the weary. I require that you accompany me to Curthus. I have been granted an audience with an Ishgardian dignitary, you see, and the man expressly requested your presence. Oh, do we get to go to Ishgard? Do not look so surprised. You should be... You should... Uh, do not look so surprised. You should be familiar with the trappings of fame by now. We shall depart as soon as you're ready. Uh, gloves. I don't need these. Um, but I like the way the gloves... Uh, sorry, I like the way the Even Star hat looks. So having the gloves on hand... Why am I in here? What am I looking for? Being an idiot. Uh, let's try these on. Ooh, yes please. Yes please, please, please. Um, cast Glamour. Start clubs. Ah, uh, yeah. Get out of here. Why do I have to talk to you again? I already know where you want me to go. We've been blessed with a rare opportunity, Geico. An audience with an ambassador of the Holy See of Ishgard. We had to treat with Sir Americk, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights in Camp Dragonhead. It's considered a great honour to serve the Holy See directly as a Temple Knight. Needless to say, their leader wields tremendous political influence. We would be wise to court his favour. For that reason, I, consi I consider your attendance essential. If Sir Americk wishes to meet the man behind the legend, I would not deny him the pleasure of your company. The antecedent should see the wisdom of this plan when you request her permission to accompany me to Curthus. I've got to come speak to Menphilia as well. Bloody hell. Mayhap you feel this to be a waste of your talents, which would which could doubtless be put to noble use. If so, I should remind you that more good can be accomplished with the stroke of a pen and the thrust of a sword. Please, Minfilia, can I go out to play? What am I, a bloody child asking permission to leave the house? <sighs> a meeting with an Ishgardian ambassador. By all means, I think it a wonderful idea. We have received no reports of etheric disturbances or unusual beast tribe activity of late. If Alphanod believes your presence may help him secure more favourable favorable terms, I see no reason to deny him. Antecedent, I take it Geico has explained the situation. He has. Yet welcome those... Uh, Yet, welcome though these overtures are, I cannot help but wonder what prompted them. The Ishgardians have spurned all contact with the other city-states for decades. Why reach out now? Would that I knew. 
The question of their motives is one to which I have given no small amount of thought. Alas, I know no, I know no more than is generally known. The notoriously reclusive... My mouth's gone fucking weird. The notoriously reclusive nation of Ishgard, situated at the centre of... Abalathia's spine? Ruled by the Ishgard... Oh, that's who that guy was. Ruled by the Ishgardian Orthodox Church, at the head of which presides the Archbishop. Members from the original Eorzean Alliance, formed in the wake of Alan Ego's fall some two decades ago. Friends of convenience who withdrew from the Alliance as soon as the Imperial fleet was routed at the Battle of Silver Tear Skies. Since which time their borders have remained closed to all outsiders. They have projected every one of their former allies calls to reopen dialogue, turning a deaf ear to their neighbours' pleas, even when the calamity loomed large. Fields of Cartano, where brave men and women laid down their lives in defence of the realm, their banners were conspicuously absent. I've tried to convince Ishgard to rejoin the Alliance at every opportunity. I've explained over and over again that unless Eorzea stands united, we cannot hope to preserve our freedom. One by one, our nations will fall, as once fell Alamigo. What have mine efforts yielded? Why not? Surely this can be considered a step in the right direction. I should hope so. Rather than the lowly messengers we have been fobbed off with in the past, this time we shall meet um, meet with a man of genuine influence. Of course, I am not so naive as to think they come to let they come to us out the goodness of their hearts. We have something they desire, though I have yet to find out what. Such is the nature of diplomacy. They will bring their agendas to the negotiating table, and so will I, along with a handful of incontrovertible truths. The Empire will soon be at our doorstep once more. Indeed, you may be assured that I will expound upon this point and others. Let us depart for Camp Dragonhead, Geico. Our old friend, Lord Harchfont, is expecting us. Since our quest to recover the Enterprise, I understand you have further ingratiated yourself with the man. Excellent work. His fondness may prove useful to our cause. So, obviously, through the cutscene, we know there's some link um, with the Asians and the Ishgardians. Both of those chaps stood over the Archbishop's shoulder. So there's, um, what's his face? Uh... I can't remember his name now. The one who possessed Thancred. Um, La Habrea. And the other one that begins with an I that I can't pronounce. They were both there. So that can't mean good things. Well, let's go and find out what this diplomat has to say. Oops. And hopefully that will then... I think the, the game moving towards Ishgard um, indicates to me that we're pushing towards the next expansion. So that's good. That is very good. Shout for the rocks. Hello again. Ah, Geico, every welcome sight. Our hearts have been stoked to blazing in preparation for your arrival. It would not do for such a distinguished personage to catch cold whilst enjoying our hospitality. 
gesture is much appreciated. I fear I shall ever struggle in cold climes. Ah, good Master Alphanod, and honour as always. Likewise, Lord Hotchfont, forgive us yet another imposition. I fear we have relied over much on your aid since you so generously assisted us in locating the Enterprise. Nonsense. Any debts incurred have long since been repaid. Besides, who can say what the future may bring? House Fortemps may even seek the aid of your newly formed Crystal Braves. In any case, I am simply delighted that the Holy See is at last willing to grant you an audience. No doubt, your discoveries at Snowcloak helped you justify the decision. This recent resurgence in heretical activity is of great concern to us all. But the matter at hand but to the matter at hand. Sir Americk arrived in Camp Dragonhead earlier, and I'm told he is eager to meet with you at your first convenience. You are doubtless weary from your uh, you are doubtless weary from your journey and desert uh, I can't speak and desirous to rest a while at, by the warmth of our hearth. If you are willing to forego such comforts, pray inform the knight stationed outside the intercessory. Intercessory? He will grant you entrance and send word to the other attendees. As inviting as your heart sounds, I think it best we proceed to the intercessory forthwith. Uh, that's what I think of all those long words that make my mouth go bleh. Is it here? We have been expecting you, sir. Pray you take your ease inside, and I shall summon the others. Yep. Don't think we've ever been here. But, uh, don't think we've ever been. I'm not even reading off anything, and I can't speak. Kilu. Mamonaku okoshi ni narareru. Oh shit, we're screwed then. I can't speak. <laughs> Ooh. Ishugard no Tokshi, Shinden Kishidan Socho no I Milk to you. アルフィノ殿、こたびは階段の要求に応じていただき感謝する。こちらこそ感謝いたします。アイメリク教。この階段が双方にとって実りあるものとなるよう期待しています。なるほど。英傑の目をしている。そうは思わないか。はっ。うん。イシュガルドでも君の冒険談を伝え聞くのでね。どうしても会ってみたくなったのだ。私事で恐縮だったのだが、この階段の場を利用し。同行していただいたさあ席にかけてくれたまえですから完全に迫るガレマール帝国の脅威に対抗するにはエオルゼアを一つにしなければならないのです脅威は帝国だけではない蛮族や蛮神の存在もありましょうそのためにもエオルゼア都市軍事同盟に再加盟していただき真のエオルゼアへの道をなぜなのです蛮族蛮神確かに エクサル族はクルザスに進出しているが彼らの敵手は主にグリダニアを向いている国営の森の主権を争っているのであればそれを領土とするグリダニアが対応するのが筋というもの我々は旧敵ドラゴン族との長きにわたる戦いで精一
帝国軍に関して言えば危惧はしている彼らが大陸統一を掲げている以上いずれ侵略の手を伸ばすであろうことは明白だでは<笑>だが帝国軍の動向は少なくとも現状は沈静化しているインテレスティングエオルゼアにとどまる第14軍団の残存兵力にしてもその多くが属州からの徴収兵であり戦意は低い、ま、それではこれまでと何ら変わりがないではありませんか Yeah, I was going to ask that question actually. Why did you bother coming? Is it to meet me? Watashi Kojin no Iken de Yeba, Kimi no Shoni Sando Suryo. Uh-oh. I'm a Rikyo. Watashi wa Kono Kaidan ni Ishigarda no Tokshi to Ste Shusse Kishteiru. Kyo Kocho no Ishio Mushishi. Okay, that sounds promising, at least. Daga, Watashi Kojin de Handan de Kirkotomo are. Portanke got stayed on at the Goitita, Revenant's Tour, Kaitakudan in the Bush no Shin. Coronitsuitawa, Congo Mokyoko Tsukeo. Are you suggesting you had something to do with them being. Harassed in the first place. Honto deska! I m e r i k s o c h o Ah. Tadashi, Joe Kengar. Oh, God. Doragonzo no Shisoto Saleru. Genlu, Midogar Zor. So no Genlu got hook cuts through no devanaika to you, Wasaga. Kyo Kocho no Naibu, Sasai Karate. ここ最近のドラゴン族の奇妙な動きやアドネール先生代が観測した流星の輝きいずれも源流復活の兆候だと言われているアハモス人類子の源流がですかアンガンですメッカーツソマーアハモノーハドスンケースあくまで噂にすぎない源流ミドガルズオルムは15年前の銀類湖上空戦で帝国軍の飛空戦艦と相打ちして死しただがドラゴン族が活発化しているのも事実万一に備えレベナンツトールに異を構える開拓団に目薬の塔を監視してもらいたいのだつまり銀類湖の目薬の塔に残る源流ミドガルズオルムの死骸の監視を条件にレブナンツトール開拓団への支援は続けてくださると協力を頼めるだろうか Well, it's not the deal we wanted, but it's a deal わかりました異変があった際には伝えましょう And as you said yourself, it is wise to court favor with these people 同盟再加盟の決断をこの場で聞けなかったのは残念ですがアイメリク教の立場も理解できます長らく門を閉ざしていた帰国とこの階段の場を持てたこと今日のところは真のエオルゼアへの第一歩として受け入れるとしましょうアルフィノ殿心遣いに感謝する貴殿の志についてはどうかどうかどうかどうかどうかどうかどうかどうかどうかどうかどうかどうかどうかどうかどうかどうかどうかどうかど今回は輸送経路も変え神殿騎士団の護衛もついていたのだぞ I like that sword I like you in general I like the haircut You, you
Uh, none of those. Thank you very much. Even Star Titus. Recent developments have given Alpha Node much to consider. Just when we were starting to make progress. And to make matters worse, the caravan they spoke of was bound for Revenant's Toll, of all places. Honestly, were I so inclined, I should think the gods were conspiring against us. Happily, however, I am not. I would know more of this attack. Let's speak with Lord Hutchfont and find out what he has learned. I think the Ishgardians being manipulated by the Asians and these attacks and even Iceheart are somewhat linked. Um... But I am paranoid and cynical, so that's just me. My sincerest apologies for the interruption, my friends, but the situation is, mu is such that we must act swiftly. If you would be so kind as to elaborate. Iceheart's heretics fell upon the caravan bound for Revenant's Toll as it was passing through Boulder Downs. It was an ambush, swift and ruthless. In an instant, every knight was slain, every crate seized. Then, as quickly as they appeared, they were gone. It would be an impossible feat without knowledge of the route. Knowledge to which only a select few are privy, I presume. Right. We can pursue that avenue of inquiry. Uh, inquiry? Inquiry in due course. It seems to me that examining the scene of the ambush should be our first concern. The trail is yet warm. We must act swiftly, Lord Harchfont said, lest crucial evidence be lost. You have a knack for discerning hidden truths, Geico. Why don't you go and inspect the ambush site in Poison? An excellent idea. Form a men of your intent upon arrival, and they will gladly share their findings. Okay, uh, I think we're going to leave it there for now. We will continue our investigation into the uh, unfortunate attack on the caravans and why it keeps happening and just what in the hell is happening with the Ishgardians, why you're suddenly part of events, and uh, and if you can be trusted. Well, I am rather partial to you, I must admit. Anyway, that's goodbye from me. Goodbye from the Taciturn Temple Knight, Carbuncle, and Fledgling Dodo. I'll see you next time.